In today's video, we take a ferry to St Moore's where we explore the pretty little village. We take in the views from St Moore's Castle and we sample some local crab. But it's not the one we find in the rock pools. All that and more in today's video. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, the 2nd of June. We're at our kind of our last day here at the Carnan Downs Caravan and Motor Home Club site. It's a beautiful day again. It's blue skies with some cloud, but it's nice and mild. Um, and we've got some plans. Yesterday, we didn't have much of a plan. We just went into Falmouth and wandered around. But today, we have a plan. We're going back to Falmouth. We are going to get the ferry off across the St. Moors and back again. Uh, and then on the way home on the bus, we are going to stop at a brewery to check out a local brewery, brewery and some ales and what they do there. So we have a plan. Breakfast first though, which is going to be in about 20 minutes, I reckon. So come along for the journey and we'll see you as the day goes on. So before we head into town, we are obviously going to have breakfast and today it is a real simple, real quick breakfast that we're mainly Suzanne, I guess, is going to put together. But I'll help, I can do muffins or bagels because we are having scrambled egg with bagels. Max might have an omelette. A simple, yummy breakfast and that's it. So let's do it. I've never done uh, omelette on the Ridge Monkey before. But I was thinking, what could we do differently for breakfast? So I watched a quick video yesterday of somebody else doing it. I hope it'll be all right. I hope it'll be Mac to Max's approval. Turns out, Max has decided he'd like omelette. I think we're still having scrambled egg. I think we will do. We're still having scrambled egg and bagels, but Max is gonna have a cheese and ham omelette and Suzanne is knocking it up right now as we speak. So it'll only be a matter of minutes before Max is eating a delicious omelette. It looks good actually. We hope. <laughs> Don't try playing for the guy rope. That would be a funny video, flipping over the guy rope. Just flipped it over. This is where it could all go wrong, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> that looks all right. That looks, that looks and smells pretty darn good, darling. Well done. <laughs> yes, guys! Welcome back to another video. Today I'm opening six packs of football oh. cards. <laughs> no, Max is here to give us his verdict on... Oh, hot. That's my hot. verdict. Okay. It's hot. That's a good start. At least it's not cold. <laughs> How is it? Mm. Mm. Oh, he's got the seal of approval from Max, so that's all we can ask for, I think. I need a drink. Okay, we'll get you a drink. So there we go, omelette is a hit, so we've changed. We are not having scrambled eggs and bagels. We're having cheese and ham omelette and bagels, which the second one Suzanne is knocking up right now. So I'm on bagel duty, so I've got to run. Breakfast um, of millions of people. Have you seen our new t-shirts? What? Uh, give me a name of a famous chef. Uh, Gordon Ramsay. It'll meet Gordon Ramsay. He won't be swearing at you. No, Max is like Max is enjoying it. They look yummy. We've got the bagels toasting. As long as Max is happy, that means that should meet any chef's approval. Yeah. Oh my God. The lakey. I can smell burning. I can smell burning bagels though. I had one job. To turn them over. No, it's not burning. Phew. We're here, we are waiting at the bus stop for the num for the U1 to come. U1 or U1A? Or Whatever. U1A, I think one of them is slightly quicker. I think the U1 is slightly quicker because it stops at... Oh, maybe not, I'm not sure. Maybe not. Um, but we missed it by the skin of our teeth yesterday and we were early today, so hopefully we will catch the bus. It's a, yesterday was a big blue one, so that's what we're on the lookout for. Fingers crossed, we make it this time. 
but we forgot that today was a bank holiday and for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee here in the UK so the buses came once an hour instead of every 30 minutes and we had longer to wait than we thought and as you can see this bus driver wasn't hanging around negotiating these narrow Cornish streets but before long we had our tickets and we were on the ferry to St Moors so we've just got off the bus and the bus driver's a maniac he's driving down his narrow roads at That was the St Moors, found with the St Moors ferry, and we have reached St Moors now. I have to go to the ticket office because we haven't paid yet because his thingy, his thingy wouldn't, um, ticket machine wouldn't work. So I'm just gonna go and pay, and then we're gonna have a little explore. Welcome to St Moors. We are heading to the visitor centre because we want to do crabbing for Max and we want to find out how to walk to the castle and we're going to see how long those two things will take. Yay! Yay! That makes Max happy because he's loving the walk to the castle, aren't you darling? Yeah. Yeah. I love so here is the Roseland visitor centre. The nice ladies in the visitor centre helped us find somewhere to get a crabbing bucket and bait. They also indicated that this time of day wasn't great for crabbing as the tide was out and we would be better looking into the rock pools and stay tuned because boy are we glad that we did. That's what that company wants us to try. So we have picked the worst time to do crabbing but we're going to try anyway. We've not had a lot of luck have we? And guys, guys, guys. Let's see if we can find a spot. Not to mention guys, this is our lunch. Bacon. <laughs> yeah. We are down here Oh, yeah, it is recording. We are down here, some Moors Beach. The tide is out, so we're looking in rock pools for crabs. Max found a, quite a big one, um, and a little boy, well, a little boy, a ten-year-old boy that no, does it all the time. Yeah. Um, Picks and him he up. just grabbed it with his hands and put it in Max's bucket for him. We found three or four more, and then all of a sudden, Suzanne saw a couple fish. of pink legs. And this guy, if I will, because it isn't my child, so if I will, I'll put a clip in here of him pulling it out of the water. But the kids just jumped in and grabbed the pincers. Nine years old, he grabbed the pincers on this crab and pulled it out. He knows a lot about them. Very impressive. And I'm going to show you now because we put it back in the water now, obviously. I'll show you now what. Yeah, he. I didn't get anywhere near it. Um, and I'll show you now what. Um, what the size of it was. So, if you can see. It's just there. It's not moving at the moment. It's massive. You should circle it. It's right. If you can't see, I do not know what's wrong with you, but you should be able to see it. So that is quite a large crab. Let's play um, the clip. And it's um, it's gone back in the sea now. So it's happy as Larry. It's chilling out. Um, and C H I L L I N. Well, well done for that young man for grabbing it like that because and well done for Suzanne for spotting it. Yeah. So moving on now we're going to visit the castle. 
we're now in St Moors, as you probably know, and we've just stopped for a sandwich before we walk up to the castle. And I've been desperate for crab, so I found a fresh crab uh, or a seafood place. Fresh so crab crab sandwiches. So I can't wait. Go for it. Duck tuck in. Disgusting. Mm. Good. Oh. That is the best. Thumbs up. I, I just love crab sandwiches. Mm. Keep away from our food, Mr. Seagull. And what a beautiful view we have here for lunch, looking out over the bay here at St. Moors. We have made it up to St Moore's Castle and if you don't like castles it's still Is worth that? coming for the view. So we're going to have a little look around before we walk back. So that was it, a flying By the way, by the way, the cake was soggy. It was nice, wasn't it? It's soggy. No, moist, I, I think, like isn't it? it. I didn't you not like it? Oh, I loved it, it was a perfect cake. I ate it all the time. Well, the way you inhaled it, you gave the impression that you loved it. <laughs> anyway, Max didn't like it. It wasn't soggy, it was moist. And it was very nice, it just wasn't to Max's taste. So we are now leaving the castle, we are heading it's National Trust and we're not members and we haven't really got time to pay all that money and just was around it for 10 minutes so it's something that we're going to have to do another day here is the castle but the little coffee shop we went to was good nice cakes and cookies um, really interesting about the van 1969 Gardeners van from France and the guy brought it over, did it up and he's using it now to sell coffee so he lives on. Coffee and cake. Coffee and snacks. Nice. So. They should call it, they should, they should call it subscribe to Richard Chuck. So Holy. please do it. <laughs> um, anyway, so we're heading back down now. A couple of shops to go to before we jump on the ferry and we head back to Falmouth before going to hopefully a brewery, so. What? I never knew you were going to a brewery.
I know it's disgusting but it's healthy for you Happy birthday to you You can call me stupid yes, You can call me sheep You can say I'm lazy You can say I'm weak You think that using her would get to me And if you're right then you're in trouble dear. Okay, I'm going upstairs So that was a nice little visit wasn't it? Very nice to the Verdon Brewing Company. Very busy. Really busy. Thursday night, but it's a bank holiday. Anyway. So we are now, we've gone up some steep hills, but we're walking back to the bus stop. Amazing. To the U1 back to Carnan Downs Caravan and Motorhome Club site. Yeah. So. See you recommend the brewery though if you're in, a, in the it's area. Really nice. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. Nice as it well. was good, yeah. So. And they obviously do like live music certain nights because they've got something on tomorrow night. Planning for something tomorrow yeah. night. Daddy, you might want to stop. Let's the go this music. way. It's been a really crazy couple of hours Day. since we got yeah. back to the campsite. Yeah. We just had that chaotic walk through the university, then we got our bus and we made it back to the campsite. And then it was dinner and washing up and blah blah blah, but we're here now, we're chilling. Suzanne is having her guilty pleasure. My scone and cream. And, and yes! When I had the I when I had a bit of the fruit, I did um, it was just dry. You didn't like it? No. Okay, well let Mommy tell us what okay. she thinks. So yes, I put my jam on first, followed yeah. by my cream. So I, I what put they doing cream Cornwall? first. They I put do... jam on first, followed by cream. So I did Cornish one. So if you're watching guys, any Cornelians. Also guys, I do cream first. Are you I a Devonite? Yeah. So Max is a Devonite. Suzanne is a Cornelian. Cornelian. Corn, Corn Cornwallian. 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 So we found no, this cream so tea. Got Pepsi Max Maximum Medicinal Sugar. In um, Falmouth just before getting on the bus, didn't we? Mm. And it was from, what was the name of the place called? Mm, I can't remember. It was a bakery, wasn't it? It was in... right next door to the lookout. So if you look for the lookout in Falmouth, it's next door to that. We will try and tell you, but I'm really sorry. Um, it's cream called, tea place in Falmouth. It's called forgotten. Cream Tea Bakery. It could be, is it what it's called? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Amazing, Max. Good memory. If it isn't called Cream Tea Bakery, yeah. then we will edit this bit out. Okay. If it is called Cream Tea Bakery, Max gets three packs of all cards. Really? Mm. It's not. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, game's up tonight, honey. What are we playing? Banana grams and double. Banana grams and double. So banana grams. Banana grams is all set. Yep. Yeah. Very Head good on. game for Just camping. Yeah. Takes up a little bit of space, but let's mix it up. Right. Okay. Right. Calm so, down. I'm mixing the, them all up. So that's our game night. We're going to do that now, and See you in the morning. Um, we are going to probably kick back in a bit later on. So. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. Well, Max will see, Max you, in will see you in the morning. What? Because you you're going to bed, to bed in an hour. But me and Suzanne might check in before we go to bed. We'll let you know, obviously. If not, we'll see you in the morning, but we might see you later. Bye. Good evening, everybody. This is the. Oh, you recording? Pretty me? much the end of our. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you want to say come in? I was just looking at my phone. This is pretty much. I have not had my phone all day because I ran out of battery just as I was leaving here. I didn't have a chance to charge it up this morning. And How did you survive? Because the problem is when you're li living with two boys, their appliances <laughs> take priority over mine. So we had to have a charged up phone for Richard and a charged up iPad for Max and poor mummy's iPhone no so I ran out of battery so I've only had a real chance to look at my phone now so I'm just catching up on things that's a problem anyway, that is a problem yeah, I get so up. our Devon Cornwall trip has come to an end yeah it Going is home Thursday the 2nd of June for another June. 55 minutes it's 5 Happy past 11 Jubilee weekend mm -hmm. 
And just a quick summary really, we left home on Sunday, which mm -hmm. was four days ago, five days yeah. ago. And we headed to Lidford Caravan Park, which you've obviously seen, assuming you watched previous videos. And the rain. And we set up this hideous awning in the rain. Not a hideous awning. It wasn't it was on Sunday night. <laughs> you can't call it a hideous it awning. Was on Sunday night. It's not that bad. It, no, when we get it set up, it's amazing, but setting it up on Sunday night was not fun. Because it was pouring down with rain. And we had no Had it not it. been raining, it would have been alright. I know, we'd have well, still been like in trouble second. with it. Let's, let's wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. We said to ourselves on Monday morning, had it not been raining, it would have been fine. Mm. Fast forward. Yeah. To Tuesday night. Tuesday night. <laughs> we tried to set it up <laughs> here. And it, wasn't it didn't take us three hours. The only difference time. was. It took us quicker than the It took us a little bit quicker, but we. It was still hideous. We just. We were drier, but we sweated more. Yeah. <laughs> because it was really sunny. But anyway, this is not about the morning. This is about. Lidford was good. I liked the Lidford campsite. Yeah. I love the gorge. I it was quiet, the literary campsite was, so yeah. there was nothing there apart from a little. Oh, but you mean, staff, yeah. That she sold more stuff in her shop than they do here. Than they do here, yeah. and it was probably cheaper. Do you think it's cheaper? Well, we, like we've already mentioned, we spent £5.90 for four pints of milk and some ketchup that was four months out, out of date. Day. No, three months out of date. <laughs> I took it back and he gave us our money back and yeah. they swapped it for something of equal value which was chocolate good, that so. was also out of date. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't out of date, chocolate wasn't out of date. Day stood out of date, it wasn't very nice. It might have been out of date, I didn't check it. No, I did check no, it. It was in August. Didn't taste but the bit, top bit was white. Anyway. Anyway. Um, enough about our Enough about out of date food. The liver was good, the gorge was amazing. I think it's one of the best walks. I really loved it, yeah. the best walk I've done. We did it Better than Cheddar? I do, I do think it was mm, best in Cheddar because it wasn't as vast. Cheddar was massive. Yeah, yeah. Lidford was like yeah, little yeah, rocky little. bits and little yeah, climbs yeah. and the river was there. Yeah. And, and more um, risky, I think. Yeah, it was definitely... One of us could have easily fallen in yeah, over. Yeah, you need to take care. Like me. <laughs> <gasps> Mummy's gone. Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. My leg still hurts after falling over. But Lidford was good. Then we headed here to Cornwall. We're at Carnan Downs now. Um, so Liver Caravan and Camping Park is Caravan and Motor Home Club affiliated site. This is now, as of April 21, so April last year, this is now a fully blown Caravan and Motor Home Club owned site. And it's totally different to... Uh, but you know the one in Lidford, are they related to the cam no, Caravan I think they're affiliated to both because there was a sign for both. Ah, oh, I got you. Yeah. Because so I, I only I saw the sign for the Caravan and Camping. No, right on the side of the building, I took a video of it. There oh, was a sign for both, Caravan and Motor Home Club, yeah. Um, which is how we booked it through the, which was through the Caravan and Motor Home Club site. Okay. Um, but this is nothing like a Caravan and Motor Home Club site that we stayed at before. The toilets are different, there's a bar. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's, I mean, that, it's big as well. To be fair, yeah. they're the only two real differences. But they're quite big differences from what we've. Mm. Experience. The showers and toilets are really good. Very nice. Um, the only downside, I always have missed the negative, but the only thing that I found with the showers, which I've probably said in the review of the whole site, was that the shower curtain, the cubicle itself is a little bit too small. And the shower curtain they have is quite close to you. And the other thing I don't like is that you go in, you go to the loo, you lock the door, you wash your hands, and there's no dryer. And yeah, and you have to open the door to go outside to, to go dry. outside. So the next person that comes in then locks hand. the door and the handles are wet and you're like Yeah. yeah. Is that okay? Unless you take a towel to the bathroom yeah. with you. Is that just water on the handle? <laughs> or we <laughs> I hope not. But you know um, You just never know. But the showers are amazing. <laughs> if you're desperate. If you're desperate, you gotta go, you gotta go. Exactly. The, the showers are really good. Um, Very nice hours. It's an hour's, no, sorry, it's, no, it's not, an it's hours? about a 45 minute bus drive to Falmouth. Was it for now? It wasn't 45, it was I think, now. well, it certainly wasn't 45 today, that's for sure, with the guy oh. that like, Nigel Manson. If you're coming to Falmouth and you're going to get the bus, 
or if you're coming to Condon Downs and you're going to get the bus. And it happens to be a bank holiday. Mm, check the note. timetable. Check the timetable. Because we rushed down there to get a bus and at 10.30 because it was every half hour. But, but on it was bank holiday, bank holidays every On Thursday, because we have bank holidays every Thursday. Um, it was every half an hour. Every mm. hour, sorry. So we had to mm. stand there and wait for 20 minutes. Yeah. But we got there. Yeah. Um, and there's lots of other things we did. We went on the ferry and stuff and went to the museum, but yeah. that you'd have, you may have seen. Um, but this is just a quick hello and goodbye for this trip to Devon and Cornwall for us. And we head back home tomorrow? We head back home tomorrow, which is Friday the 3rd. We're back to the reality of work and um, school. school next Tuesday. Max has got Monday off. But it's um it's been a good five days. Mm. We've used the awning I've legs, haven't we? We've used the awning like, every day. As in we For normally don't sit out in the awning, do no. we? And we've cooked outside every day. Three out of five days well. we've cooked. What nice Well no, we always cook we cooked cook. every day. It might be breakfast or mm. um What did what day did we not cook then? For dinner? Yeah. Oh, the day we went to the we went to the Lidford. Yeah, yeah. And yesterday, but we cooked breakfast. Didn't we? Yeah, so we've always cooked. Yeah, something. Um, but we cooked a lot yeah. outside, and we use the awning loads, mm. and not just to storage this time. No, normally it's just for storage. And it also means now that Max has gone to bed already. Mm. And we're talking to you. And we're talking to you. And had it not been for using that awning. We won't be talking to you guys, no. so I think that's probably it now. Is it? We're tired, it's I'm tired. Now come and watch lights up. Nearly quarter past eleven. The awning is not too bad. It is a bit of a tidy up in the morning but it won't take long. Yeah, I've got to pack up in the morning. Pack up in the morning and be out of here. But the awning will go down quicker than It went up. It went up. <laughs> Anything. Tower blocks go down quicker than they go up oh, when they're demolished. We need help, don't we? We're going to practice. We're going to go around to Richard's mark. The problem well, is, we practiced in our garden, didn't we? Yeah. But we can't get the camper van in our back garden. No, unless you do it in the front garden. Unless you do it in the front garden. I think one of the main things you did was, or did wrong, um, was the doors were open. So two of the doors were open when we oh, set it yeah. up, and we, we pulled out the bottom of the legs. And they extended further than the zip yeah. goes around, so we couldn't. So we basically made the door too big for the zip to do up, um, and um, I think that made the legs go funny. And yeah, it did. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello, I'm back again. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. I'm right. just going to sleep. <laughs> Oh, don't I? Oh, I like. Um, Where did you go? <laughs> so, yeah, so. Oh, I keep going to the side. <laughs> it's because it's comfy leaning that way. Out, that's I'm right. leaning that way. Okay, anyway. So, I think that we'll end it there. You probably see some did more. Did you finish your sentence? I thought I was talking about. <laughs> about the doors. Yes, I think I did. Because it says 10 to 20 minutes for. Putting it up and pulling it down, putting yeah. it down again, and it did take ten minutes getting it down. We, but we also. But it didn't we, stay two and a half hours for getting. <laughs> no, but to be fair, it took us ten minutes to get it up, but it wasn't up properly. Up properly. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah, it's true. So it did take ten minutes. Yeah. Well, I think we we're just quite we fussy. Just, yeah, and especially me. About getting it sort of spot on and pegged him right and stuff but practice makes perfect so more camping trips to keep practicing and maybe the garden or something mm. so I think that will be it for now we because we'd never take it that's away not, apparently that's not it for now <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's more because we'd never take it away for one night would we camping no. I don't think it's, no. although it's if not it, yeah. but we would if it took five minutes but five, five minutes, ten minutes, to, minutes, ten minutes yeah. but yeah. anyway <laughs> yeah, done, finished. Else? So where's our next camping trip going to be? Our next camping trip du, du, du. is going to be... Decisions. Whenever we can find some time. Whenever we find some time. It's difficult because Max goes back to school. Yeah. And obviously he's busy at weekends. 
Wow. So I think on that note we'll end it. Otherwise we'll bore people to yeah, death. Yeah, because I'm just rabbiting on. Rabbit, cheers, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Oh, thanks, cheers. Thanks for a good one. I'm going to have a little Thank shot you. of whiskey. Cheers for a good week. And I've got my cider and my wine glass. And we will see you tomorrow, probably. And if you haven't said already, give us a thumbs up if you found our ramblings interesting. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. And we will see you in the morning and in many, many, many future videos. And don't forget to check out drivinghorizons.com for oh, do my else. God. Oh, yeah. That's right, I'm not stupid off. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, t -shirts. T -shirts. Da -da 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 -da. Driving. Horizons.com. Right. Well, no, just driving the horizons. Um, we've been wearing those proudly all day. Anyway, see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye. I'll no, we'll see you tomorrow, but then in the next video. Bye. Bye. Should I end it? Yeah. Should I get out? Yeah. Get out? yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, good morning everybody. Welcome to our final day camping. I'm whispering because it's still quite early. It's five past eight. Max is still asleep. He woke up for a second, but then seems to have drifted off again, which is good because he's very tired after a lot of late nights for an amazing week we've had. We're still at Carnan Downs. We are, it's pack up day and it's a four hour drive home day, which isn't amazing. So there probably isn't going to be much um, going on today nothing of any exciting things anyway but i'm going to try and do a time lapse of the whole drive home um with the gopro in the front of the van so that'll either be tagged on to the end here so stick around to see that because um i haven't done a time lapse for about well, for years like a proper long time lapse from when i was in america once and that was 2013 so it'd be good to see how that turns up a route from uh falmouth almost to um to the new forest which is going to be quite a nice drive hopefully so hang around for that time lapse but i may also stick that in another just a separate quick short video if people want to watch that but anyway it's pack up day today and you can see i'm not sure if you can see that but there is a lot of um tidying up to do so better crack on I think we have to be out by 11 so we've got three hours simple breakfast this morning um, stay with us tidy up time and Downs yeah. Caravan and Motorhome Club site. It's midday. Yep. We're just about to leave. We don't know how long it's going to take to get home. Four and a half hours but past the stop for lunch. Beautiful day. What a difference is. in packing up today than it was the other day in Devon. Oh my god, it was beautiful. Amazing. Total blue skies. Blue that skies. The awning was dry. Cloud the ground was dry. And they've kitted out inside all in Jubilee. The telly's on in oh, there. Oh, have they? Yeah. Oh. So they're having some sort of celebration here that Chairman could have said next to Never mind, work calls unfortunately, yeah. so um, thank you, well done, we're here, we're going. Yep. Yeah, all packed up. Um, Please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, thank you Max, that's very kind of you to say. Um, and would we come back again? Don't forget to check out my channel. Yeah. Max, would we come back again? Would you come back again? Maybe yes. Maybe yes. So that's not 100%? I think it's quite far. For us. And it's at the top of a hill. So we saw, we could cycle oh, places, yeah, yeah. but it's really hard work. I know it sounds lazy, but it's really hard work getting back. Yeah, yeah. Um, Especially if it's hot. Yeah. Or raining. And if you take the van there, you've got to do parking and stuff. Yeah. But the campsite itself is really good. Um, it's nice. I like it. I'll come back again. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Anyway, we're going home now for a drive, so we will see you. As Max said, if you enjoy these videos, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like this. Exactly like that. 
and we will see you. I don't know where we're going next. It's a mystery to us as it is to you. So maybe a one be, nighter somewhere. One nighter, a little bit closer to home, not five hours away. Four and a half yeah, hours away. one nighter because Max still got goes back to school, and then we've got summer holidays to do. Anyway, like I said, give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe, yeah. and we will see you in the next give video. Me and we so will I might lose this game No! And we will see you in the next video, remember that maybe. Bye for now. Bye! It's calling me.